James Lawrence, I'm excited about this wine because this is Domaine Montreux Moran de Vier de 2017 vineyard, a burgundy red wine. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this beautiful, gorgeous wine. I anticipate burgundy wines. I don't drink them as often as I'd like to, and I think they're just fantastically gorgeous and beautiful wines, uh, historical luminous wines that are produced in this region and still produced today. And uh, so I think that probably goes without saying, but it's something that, uh, you know, I try to dispel the myth that you have to spend a ton of money on burgundy wines because you don't have to. So there are many Pinot Noir New World that are actually more expensive than this wine here. It, this is a well-crafted bottle of wine. And so when I look at the New World equivalents, which could be double this price point, and uh, not as satisfying as this wine itself. And so I definitely hear some you know, people call out, say maybe for Oregon. I hear the B word, Burgundian, for say Oregon Pinot Noir wines, which I think in many ways, it's not absolutely true, it's not accurate. And it's really, that's an Oregonian expression. And so it's not to put down one region over the other, it's just a difference in how the wines do uh, you know, taste in the glass and how they age over time. So let me show you the bottle up close. You're gonna see that that is the Appalachian Morange. And uh, so this is a 2017 vintage. So that's the Appalachian Morange, Vie Vignet, 2017 vintage, 13% ABV, back label for you to look at here. Now this wine is something that's completely handsome and gorgeous. And when I think about a wine like this is um, sophistication at a really good price point, $38.99. Well, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, they're so expensive, burgundy wines that is. And I'm like, yeah, but I can taste many more New World Pinot Noirs that are probably double this price point. And uh, I don't think it's half as exemplary as this wine is. And often people are gonna say, oh, burgundy, you've gotta spend a lot of money on a good burgundy. I don't think that's necessarily true. So I've tasted a lot of lower price burgundy wines, and I think they're outstanding in terms of even the lower price point wines exemplify well in the wine glass itself. So the average age of these vines are 30 years old. Now this is um, the day-to-day -day operation and in terms of vineyard and cellar is by sisters Elsa and Adele Matro. And I think, you know, they're doing a splendid job in terms of carrying on the family tradition of creating beautiful wines. So the vinification of this wine is completely stemming natural yeast as well as cold vatting for three to six days at 10 degrees Celsius, which is 50 degrees Fahrenheit fermentation for 12 to 18 days and a pillage twice daily, 15 months maturation on lees in oak barrel, 10% of that is new, and three months in a stainless steel vat to prepare the wine for bottling. And so what I, you know, take away on this is I could definitely pick up a burgundy wine compared to say New World Pinot Noir. And um, again, I'm not gonna put one region down or the other, they're just noticeable. And I think that's really my point. And the noticeability of that wine is just even from the colorization. So if I didn't know what the bottle was, I could definitely pick out maybe not necessarily the appellation of that particular burgundy wine, but I could definitely pick up burgundy versus new world. The colorization is absolutely hauntingly gorgeous. This is a, um, you know, a cathedral stained glass window colorization, a vitreous color so you can see right through it. And elegance and beauty on this wine is exemplified just on the scent characterization. So. Nose on this is blackberry, purple flowers, game, mushroom, sandalwood, and violets. Outstanding. And next, the palette characterization. So on the palette, a gorgeous characterization of red cherry, tart red cherry, a bit of white pepper note, graphite, hint of lavender, and also a gentle hint of game, as well as mushroom notation, and a sprig of thyme, absolutely gorgeous. 94 points out of 100 points. More views to come, I'll put more information on this producer, seek them out. I think an outstanding wine, $38.99 suggested retail, is completely worth it for this wine. And again, you could spend more for a Pinot Noir, but I think when you come to um, the, the beauty of Burgundy, this is an exemplary wine. Thank you for watching, let's stay connected. This is great for, say, a Thanksgiving meal. You can enjoy this for any sort of uh, special meal you want to enjoy this with, but before you taste food with this, Enjoy it on its own so you get that taste of burgundy. Thank you for watching. So let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Thank you for your support. Additionally, you'll find me on my podcast, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Sante.